Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing a fairly simple and cheap option to make snowy kind of bases. So before I get into it, I would like to show an example of the type of thing this will be making. It's a bit more of a more of a dry snow type thing, more than a gooey snow that a lot of tutorials will show to make. Originally I was following more of a gooey snow, but the way I found to do this, I found much easier to do it in this way. So, all you're going to need to make this snowy base is baking powder, some sort of little pot thing to mix it in. The first time I did this I used like cupcake trays, muffin cases that kind of thing you don't really need as long as you don't think you're going to need it anymore because i mean unless you can clean it out you are it's gonna end up sticking and staining after a while and last thing you need is just some white paint right so first of all you're going to want to get a little bit of paint in the bottom of your tub uh you don't want too much uh, it really does depend on how much you're going to produce like, I'm probably going to base just this one mini for now, but I'm going to have some left over for some other minis when I'm finished. So I'll just use that for now. And you're going to want to take... I don't actually have a teaspoon on me, but maybe like maybe half a teaspoon. It really does depend. Get on the bit of a scoop on it. Yeah, that should be about enough. And I'm gonna get something slightly dirty to start mixing it around with. You just, just start mixing it together. Make sure it all gets in there. I'm gonna mix it for about maybe 30 seconds to a minute just so it's all together. If it doesn't get too, it almost gets to a soapy consistency, like quite loose, almost bubbly after a bit. And if you do it right, it'll kind of start to almost pop itself and deflate and inflate slightly. I think it also kind of grows a bit as well. Yeah, once you've got this kind of almost soapy texture to it. Just keep stirring a little bit, make sure it's all mixed together. And then all you need to do from there really is take the model that you want to base. I'll be basing this black dragon. Get a little bit on your scooper. And just start applying it. Originally when I applied it, I kind of wanted like a fairly thick coverage of snow. But I found it didn't quite work as well. So what I ended up doing eventually is just straight up just taking a load of it off. I'm going to pile it on thick to start off with so I can whittle it away because it's better to have more on than be able to take away than think you've got enough than have to make a second batch just because it's not as much as you thought it would. Because it does go down a little bit over time as well. It's quite easy just to scrape off the model. It's not too strong, however, once you get it to more of a thinner consistency like this, it doesn't come off that easily at all, which is quite helpful. Okay, as you can see, I have all of the solution applied. Right now it's fairly puffy. It might even look gooey to some. I assure you, however, it does not stay like this. It goes fairly dry and brittle quite quickly and it, pieces will fall off so you will want to do this somewhere where you're not going to have to clean up after yourself like a workstation but when it's dry all you need to do is take your knife or your clippers or just a, anything that you can fairly easily scrape it off with which shouldn't take too much I mean a flimsy piece of cloth won't do it a piece of plastic probably might but you might want to like Get something slightly stronger so it does take it off. I don't know. I use a lollipop stick, so that should be fine. But other than that, 
that's it for this stage. Now all you need to do is wait for it to dry and I will show you kind of the process of the removal. Right, so I've just started getting rid of a lot of the snowy stuff that was on there. It doesn't look very good if you don't remove it, however, if you do like how it looks with it on, that's up to you. It's been about, yeah, I think it has been about an hour. I don't, I'm not quite sure, I haven't really been paying attention. But, this is kind of the effect you're going to get. Almost like a slightly melted, dry snow. If you get enough off, you can kind of see some rock underneath if you put rock underneath. Even without putting rock underneath, it almost looks kind of like there's rock there. Which I think is a pretty nice effect anyway. It does work best if you do already have some terrain. Like, here it's raised up there. Here I've got an actual rock on there that's raised them up. So it really does work well. I put a white sheet down just so it's not getting everywhere and I can easily filter it all in the bin. However, quite frankly, the lighting is so much better with this white sheet and I might use this for the rest of my videos anyway until I get a better lighting set up. See, that's pretty much what you have to do then. Just take away as much or as little as you want and you'll get a pretty nice snow effect. These are all the models that I have done this snow effect with so far. Don't look too bad. It definitely looks a lot better when you've really got a bit of base underneath. If you get rid of some more areas like that, around there, if you take away certain chunks of it in places, it definitely looks more like the snow's melting or just hasn't caught because something's been in the way, maybe. I think it just works quite well. And it's especially cheap as well, since baking soda is going to be found pretty much anywhere in your house, unless you don't have baking soda, which, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, but at the same time, it's kind of weird if you don't. The little tubs, you can, as I say, you can use anything that you don't really care about. Muffin cases, cupcake cases, little plastic pots from packaging like that. And then there's the white paint. That's the only thing you might struggle with. If you didn't have a tube of white paint, you can use your modeling paints. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it because obviously these are like, what, three pound bottle? Whereas like a tube of cheap acrylic paint is probably about the same and you get like triple the amount, albeit it's not the best quality, but you don't really care about quality when you're only using it for the color of and the consistency. Right, so overall, I think this is a really nice way to cheaply base your models if you want a snowy tundra type thing. I guess you could even get some grass tufts if you have some and put them down, but that's only an idea. Maybe even highlight them in some white, see the day they've been frosted over maybe, I don't know. I mean, you can do whatever you want from here. This is just a base for it. A base for a base. But, yeah. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.